time that I get back on the saddle and put out a new YouTube video and I thought that this would be actually the perfect segue into the next series of videos that you guys are going to be seeing on my channel because this is something that I'm really excited about. So I'm actually going to be unboxing the Canon C500 Mark II and just want to give you guys a little bit of why it is that I bought it. Um, as you guys know, I've owned Canon cameras for quite a bit of time. I built the majority of my business on the backs of Canon cameras. I'm also a RED owner, right? So I own a RED Helium 8K. And when they announced the Canon C500, I was really, really excited about it. And the main reason for it is that a lot of the, a lot of the little challenges or workarounds that I need to do to make my red work when I'm on my own, when I'm shooting by myself. I don't have those issues or worries um, with the Canon C500 Mark II. An example, XLRs, right? I don't have that issue. So let's, let me just make sure I don't like completely screw up the audio. So in the first shipment, I got two of these. So these are two extra. So this is in addition to what comes with the camera. I got two extra 512 gigabyte CF Express cards. So hopefully that will get me through the testing that I want to do this weekend before I have to go right back on set. I got a few boxes here. I'm guessing this is not the camera because this is not the way that Canon ships their cinema line of cameras. And fun fact, you know how Apple does their packaging? It's all like really pretty and kind of beautiful. But when you buy pro gear, like the Canon C500 Mark II or the Canon C200 or any other Canon cinema line really, or even something as simple as the uh, Sennheiser MKH 416, you get it in these very generic not so beautiful looking boxes. And yet I find myself equally as, if not more excited to get one of these boxes than some of the, you know, really pretty ones. So what's in this box is actually something that a lot of people don't use or don't care for. So toss this stuff out of the way. And this is the actual EVF. And I didn't get the, you know, the, what is it? Five or $6,000 EVF. I got just the kind that goes right on the back of the camera. Very similar to the way that the um, EVF works or looks on the C300 Mark II and all the other Canon Cinema line of cameras that have an EVF or built-in EVF. And the reason for it is that I do actually use it. So, even if my critical focus, I can judge it on the actual monitor on the screen, there are times where I'd like to put my eye right up onto this and just like zone everything else out and see what it is that I can see in the frame. And that's the reason why I bought it. Do I use it every single project? No, I don't. But there have been projects where it's come in clutch and that's the main reason why I got that guy. I don't know what would be in this box. Oh, so this is kind of a funny story and 
also a reason why, or one of the reasons why, all of us who were expecting the C500 Mark IIs back in December didn't get them. The CF Express card readers, the uh, SanDisk uh, branded ones, right? So SanDisk included, or Canon included a SanDisk CF Express card readers, and they're defective, which then delayed the delivery of these C500 Mark IIs. So on mine, it looks like they replaced the SanDisk version of the CF Express card reader with this pro grade uh, CF Express card reader. The one thing that I'm not loving as I'm reading the packaging here, because I, I didn't know they were going to give me this one, is that the max transfer speeds off of this card reader is USB 3.1 Gen 2, which is not going to be, I don't think, as fast as what the SanDisk one would have been. So for now, this is gonna do for the rest of the videos that I'm gonna do this weekend where I'm gonna be testing the camera. But as soon as I can find a faster card reader, I'm definitely getting one. And now for the big, the big guy. And I can't tell you guys how excited I am. I just, I'm lucky to work in the space that I work at the time of, you know, in 2020 where technology has really just, it feels like it's skyrocketed. It's become much more attainable to all of us in this industry. Of course, a box within a box. So how about this? All right, I should have done, I should have taken this box out of the main box before we did all this. And again, no pretty packaging, right? In fact, I'm gonna set this down. I'm just gonna pull this stuff up. And Canon includes one of these cards. It's a 512 gigabyte CF Express cards. So that gives me a total of three, which should get me started for this weekend. And I think that this is actually a really nice add-on that Canon's including these, because these suckers are, I think they're like 500 bucks a pop. So that's, um, that's really nice and I appreciate it. So thank you, Canon. And well, lots and lots and lots of stuff here. This will be a nice welcome change. Just one cable for the actual touch display on this camera instead of what I have now on the C300 Mark II where I have two cables. The handle. And I know someone's gonna say, where's the camera or want the timestamp? So I'll be sure to include a timestamp of when I actually get the camera body out so that you guys can actually see it here. But this is cool. I really like this handle. When, um, when Armando did his unboxing and how he mentioned that stuff is captive, that is so true and a very nice convenience. And it's actually something that I have always appreciated about the RED DSMC2 because I don't have to worry about screws and stuff. Everything is captive. So no matter what I'm adding onto the camera, I don't have that issue. So that's a nice add-on to see that they've taken this step with the Canon Cinema line. So this is just the power cord, I'm guessing for the actual battery charger which, um, well, we'll see which one they included, but I'm guessing they included the single battery charger. Did they give me some Allen wrenches? I don't know why I need them. A whole bunch of little screws. I'm just gonna set that aside. I'm not really all that excited about that. Okay, so, Right away, this handle, or this e this monitor holder, this monitor holder feels to me more beefy than the one on the Canon C200. And I don't mind the way that this whole apparatus works, but um, when I am traveling, I'm positive I'm gonna get rid of 
this extra arm piece and just mount this section straight onto the body because it'll make for a much smaller package. And this is the monitor. And sure enough, it looks, it's actually really lightweight for the size, I think. And it looks like it is bigger than the Canon C200s. I don't know why. Canon includes camera straps with their cinema line of cameras. From the very first Canon cinema camera that I owned, I never took the camera strap out of there and then decided I was going to put it onto my cinema camera. Like, it makes no sense, but maybe it's just branding, or maybe they have extra ones and they just want to get rid of them. Who knows? So they did include the single battery charger, and I have the dual battery charger because it came with my Canon C 300 Mark II. So, and it's using the same battery, so that's actually also an added convenience because that means I have a lot of extra batteries that already fit this camera. And when I'm traveling, I think that this is going to be enough, which is much better than the dual battery charger, which is a lot bigger and a lot bulkier. So that's cool. Here's the other, the other end for the power supply. So that's great. They included one of the BPA60 batteries, which again, this is a really nice addition that they included the big one. It looks like it's got a little bit of charge, but it's going to need to sit in the charger, which is fine. I have four of these that are already charged, which will allow me to get set up and start shooting right away. So that's cool. Oh, the shotgun mount. So I don't do a lot of run and gun filming, which really means that I never use this. I, I never mount a shotgun on the camera. Um, I think the first time I did it in the last three years. So the last time I used, I used this and actually mounted a shotgun on it is on the video, which you can find here on my channel, where I did um, face only dual pixel autofocus on the Canon C300 Mark II. And that, because I was like literally standing within arm's reach of the camera, I used the shotgun mic. And also I was at home, which made it convenient because I didn't have a way to boom in a mic. But other than that, I haven't used it in, I'm gonna guess, three or four years. So, and now, for the moment that I've been waiting for since December 27th, which is when I thought I was gonna get my hands on this bad boy. And, I mean, This might be my all-time perfect camera. I can't think of a camera that can do everything this camera can do, that I can put it in any situation that I'm currently paid to work that could perform better. So, to me, this, this is going to be my perfect camera and now my ACAM. And I realize that I will have other projects where I'll have to use my RED or have to use other cameras, but if I can get, if I can be the guy that chooses which camera I'm gonna be shooting on for any project into 2020, it's going to be this guy, and the number one reason is going to be full frame. And the number two reason is everything that this full frame beast of a camera is able to do in this little tiny package. 
It is way more lightweight than I thought it would be. And I'm like, I'm gushing over this because I'm really impressed and I genuinely have been looking forward to this camera from when it was announced. And I can't wait to get this built up, throw a battery in it and go see what it can do. So there's my unboxing. I'll do a first impressions after I built this out and actually see sort of what kind of image I can get out of it. And then I'm going to go through my gamut of testing because if I can get through that and establish a working workflow, this is going to make it on set with me on Monday for a full week of production. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if, um, if you did, you know, let me know. And if you want to see other content or you have questions, be sure to leave them in the comments. And I realized that this type of video is not always super exciting. And I'm not a big fan of unboxing things. But I made this video not just to share my excitement with you, but also to document this moment in time for me. Because as I said, regardless of which other camera I've ever used, I've never been as excited for a camera like I am about this C500 Mark II. And for everyone who says that Canon doesn't innovate and Canon doesn't listen to their consumers or their clients, I'm going to tell you that everything that I could have asked for is in here. And if I had one other thing that I might say they could have thrown in would have been ProRes, but that is definitely not a deal breaker because my computer, my iMac Pro is able to crunch raw or compressed raw raw light, I guess is what Canon calls it, just as fast as Apple ProRes 422HQ. Um, and I don't have any issue with that. So thanks again for sticking around with me and checking this out. And um, I'll catch you guys in the comments. Take care.